Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from December 2016 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question is, the integral equation phi of x minus 2 by pi 0 to pi cos x plus t phi t dt is equal to fx has infinitely many solutions if f is which among these four. So, this part is given to us and they are asking for what values of this fx this integral equation has infinitely many solutions. So clearly you can see from here that this integral equation this is a inhomogeneous or non-homogeneous integral equation of second kind having kernel of this form you can uh, expand cos of x plus t right as cos x cos t minus sin x sin t now you see that this kernel is a separable kernel, right? Separable means, that means the terms is written in the summation like aix and bit, where what are these terms? ai are just functions of x and bi are just the functions of the variable t. And how do we solve such systems? We reduce it to a li uh, linear system of something like this, i minus lambda a into c is equal to f where y, what is this i i is the identity matrix what is lambda lambda is the corresponding eigenvalues which we shall evaluate further a is a matrix of the same order as i right and whose entries are given by this expression a i k is equal to integration from a to b b i t a k t d t that means this i is for b i and this k is for a k and what are these f this, this is also a vector consisting of the entries fi and we can evaluate it as bit ft dt, right? So these are the formulas. Now in order to have a unique solution or infinite solution, we must have a condition that uh, we should calculate this uh, determinant i minus lambda a and we call it as d lambda, right? the determinant d lambda because it would be a polynomial containing lambda. So now if this is non-zero in that case we have unique solution for our e integral equation and if it is zero we will calculate what is the lambda and we will calculate the corresponding solution which uh, is given in this form phi of x is equal to fx plus lambda integration from 1 to n aix into ci and in the uh, what are ci's we'll calculate these by solving this system of algebraic equations right C, uh, we'll calculate ci using this system so uh, whatever lambda we obtain from here we call them as eigenvalues and whatever lambda uh, phi x we obtain here uh, from here we call them as eigenfunctions this you all might be knowing so in order to calculate uh, whether we have infinite solutions, we'll solve d lambda is equal to zero for our equation. So for that, what what is d lambda? D lambda is simply i minus lambda a, i minus lambda a. So whose entries are written like this. So we'll first calculate a11, a12, a21, and a22. So a11 would be this uh, cos x and this cos t. So cos t into cos t cos square t when you solve this using the double angle formula and when you integrate this you will get pi by 2 right similarly you can calculate the other entries a21 and a12 they both come out to be 0 here we use the uh, b b2t and a1t and here we have used b1t and a2t corresponding to these indices and similarly in a22 we have b2 and a2 so when you substitute these values over here, you will get minus lambda by 2. So we have all these entries. So we can calculate the determinant d lambda. What would be that? 1 minus lambda pi by 2, 0, 0, 1 plus lambda pi by 2. Now for multiple solutions or infinite many solutions, we need to solve d lambda is equal to 0. So calculating the determinant, we have this thing. So in this case, lambda is equal to 2 upon pi and minus 2 upon pi. So these two are the values given, obtained while solving d lambda is equal to 0. Now look at our question. In our question, the value of lambda is plus 2 upon pi, right? So we shall use this value to calculate the corresponding eigenfunctions or the solution of this equation. 
सो लेट अस कैलकुलेट दैट मोर ओवर सो दैट मीन्स वी आर टेकिंग लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टू अपॉन पाए सो मोर ओवर टू कैलकुलेट वेदर वी हैव मल्टीपल सोल्यूशन लेट अस लुक एट दिस रिजल्ट द रिजल्ट इज द नेसेसरी एंड सफिशियंट कंडीशन फॉर द गिवन नॉन होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड काइंड टू हैव अ सोल्यूशन समथिंग लैमडा इज इक्वल टू लैमडा नॉट इन आर केस इट इज टू अपॉन पाए राइट इज दैट द गिवन एफ एस is orthogonal to the eigen functions of the transposed equation and what is the transposed equation we'll take the equ uh, transposed equation as this one that is that means the corresponding uh, homogeneous equation we'll take it to be like this because here the kernel is also symmetric by symmetry what do we mean we mean that this uh, kst is equivalent to k star st and what is k star st not k star st but k star ts right that means we change this entries s and t with t and s and we take the conjugate complex conjugate of this kernel so we have cos s plus t if you replace s with t you will get the same thing and moreover because it is real so taking the complex conjugate will leave it as such so we'll see the eigen functions corresponding to this equation right so the algebraic system would now become i minus lambda a is equal to c this and uh, we can solve this we have uh, the value of this thing this matrix as 1 minus lambda pi by 2 0 0 1 plus lambda pi by 2 c we need to calculate them they are unknown c1 c2 and this is zero matrix and because we are talking about lambda is equal to 2 upon pi so we have the system reduced like this so now when you solve this you will get 0 c1 the equation will get 0 c1 plus 2 into c2 is equal to 0 which would give us the value of c2 as 0 now c2 is 0 so c1 could be anything so this is something arbitrary so what is the solution of this equation the solution is given like this uh, right wait a second L let us look at the solution the solution would be phi of x is equal to lambda into summation 1 to 2 aix ci right for the homogeneous equation we leave the fx part so the solution here becomes phi x is equal to lambda times in, uh, summation 1 to 2 ai s ci and what is lambda lambda is 2 upon pi so this thing right and uh, because c1 is arbitrary and c2 is zero so we are only left with this term so this is our eigen function 2 upon pi so because this is constant this doesn't uh, count in while doing the calculations so to check infinitely many solutions what do we need we need to check the orthogonality condition on what is that it is taking integration from 0 to pi fx phi x is equal to 0 fx is the given function phi x is the calculated eigen function so uh, it should be 0 they both should be orthogonal so uh, the given options are cos x cos 3x sin x and sin 3x so let us see whether they are orthogonal to the given eigen function or not so here in place of ci you can just simply also write 2 upon pi being a constant it doesn't make a difference so when you can solve this integration first integration you will get the answer c1 pi by 2 or simply c1 so it would not be zero so this cannot Uh, for this we do not have infinitely many solutions because this function is not orthogonal to this they are not orthogonal to each other whereas you see in case b we have uh, while performing the integration we have zero here also we have zero so here also we have zero so you can clearly see that the given fx is orthogonal to our eigen function 
so this is the correct option this is the correct option this is also the correct option so let us go back to our question so option b option c and option d they are the correct options well that is it for this video thank you for watching